Hey Aquarius, welcome to Queen Abra Natero. Today we're going to do your general love read for the first week of August. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information is in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you return, and thank you for joining me again today. So for all the new viewers, I am an intuitive tarot card reader, which means I read the traditional sense of the card. But more than anything, I'm always going to give you guys the messages that I pick up intuitively. I charge both decks on top of crystal organite pucks, and doing so, it charges, balances, and aligns the energy for your reading. I also meditate over the collective energy. So again, this reading is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. And as always, I hope everyone's doing well. <laughs> so when I was meditating over you guys' energy, and it's not funny, I don't know how you would take it, but it's interesting to me. It's entertaining, rather. When I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Never Too Much by Luther Vandross. I'll leave the link to the song in the description box below so you can listen to it, follow in the reading if you so choose to. And right before I started, the, I pressed the button to start the reading, I literally heard the song Love Overboard by Gladys Knight. I'll leave that song also in the description box below. Now I'm laughing because it's not funny, but I, the message that I picked up with that in association to those songs is that some of you guys have someone who is like obsessed with you it could possibly be a capricorn i want to tell you when i was doing the shuffling in your main energy deck multiple times the devil card kept popping up and the devil card is major icon for capricorn so again capricorn someone rising venus individual but also ooh, okay so when i did the query the capricorn reading you guys popped up a lot so if you are dealing with a capricorn someone rising venus individual you might want to go and watch that um capricorn reading because you guys were all over there reading like all over there reading also I picked up that this person, because remember the devil is about obsession, um, being very passionate, someone who is like driven through lust and desire, right? So to see that devil card, it, that's what's funny to me because I feel like this person is like really kind of like obsessing over you. And then right before I started your reading, I heard the song Love Overboard. This literally, this person is like overboard. I'm almost picking up like this person is like wants to be joint at the hip with you. Like you don't, people don't see you without them and vice versa like this person is like can be a little overwhelming is what i'm picking up so let's see what we get for you today okay we're gonna part the deck and get a different card at the bottom for each and as always neither one of the decks are have any reversals all the cards are completely upright so at the bottom of your deck okay you got a five of cups hmm so what i'm picking up with this is that there's definitely a couple here with the two of cups in the background but something's going on because remember i did say i seen the devil Mm, okay, so I'm also picking up with the song Love Overboard. Okay, that's why I'm hearing that, that second song. Three of Cups, that could have been some third party. And for me, like I said, there's a couple already with the Two of Cups, so that Love Overboard could be somebody who's just sharing their love with everybody, and that's also why you have the Devil card. Right, that's why that also popped up, because this person can be out here entertaining. Mm, okay, Temptation, the Devil, Temptation. Somebody could be entertaining some type of Temptations. Wow, okay. So, I'm going to show you there are no reversals in the deck. Aquarius, you could be cutting this person off. I feel like if you find out some things about this individual, especially if it was a five of cups situation where there was some third party stuff going on, I feel like some of you guys are getting ready to cut this individual off. And also that you're hearing some type of truth. Because I always say sword up, that's yes, and sword down is no. And if you look at her face, she looks very disheartened. She doesn't look happy. She doesn't look happy to either have to cut somebody off or she doesn't look happy about something that she heard. And keep in mind, source, that's communication, also the mental. So I feel like if you didn't hear about this, when you do hear about the situation, if that's the case, it's not going to make you very happy. The card directly up under it, yeah, there's possibly some third party because you have two, two paths, two directions that you need to take or choose from. Two of wands. And again, we're in Leo season. That's a fiery season. Wands, that's fire. So you could be hearing about this during Leo season. Also, currently, this person could be at a distance from you or they could be someone who travels for work. And that's why that devil card popped up because this person could be tempted to entertain somebody else while they're off at work through travel. Yeah. So, again, if you're dealing with a... Because remember the devil card is Capricorn, but also Taurus and Virgo individual. I feel like, because look at this, the next one I see... Yeah. No, this was the one I seen. That's Taurus. So, some of you guys could definitely be dealing with an Earth sign. Mm. Some will rise in Venus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could live with this individual because the hair fine is always a spouse. And this is also Major Arcana. This is spouse. This is someone who's wise counsel, head of household. And you see right here a house. So a lot of you guys are definitely dealing with a earth sign, right? I feel like some of you guys are doing research. Some of you guys have, yeah, because you got the page source. That's the I spy. That's somebody who does some type of investigation. Again, sort of somebody's 
looking for some information, internet, text messages, because that's definitely communication. And this is you, right? I feel like some of you guys felt all along that this person was entertaining someone else or there's something else going on, because look at that. Right next to it, you have the Six of Pentacles. You got one, two, three hands in this card. Third party, remember I said third party, and over one hand, there's three pentacles, you know? So there's somebody possibly entertaining. Yeah, a lot of you guys are definitely dealing with it. Ooh, watch the Capricorn read, okay? Because I've seen that coming out. And especially if you're one of those people who you only know really the sun signs, you know what I mean? Your person may have Capricorn in their chart and you don't even know it. But then once you listen to the storyline, it may apply to you. So it, even if you don't know their moon, rising, Venus, check the Capricorn reading because we keep getting all this pinnacle energy, right? And you are all over the Capricorn reading. So you had the King of Pentacles again. I feel like this is a person who's the head of household, pays the bulk of the bills, especially. Well, it doesn't, male, female, it doesn't matter, but somebody who pays the bulk of the bills, expenses, things like that. Maybe, I'm even picking up that this person feels like they have a right to do this because they feel like, well, I'm paying all the bills, so this is, I have a right to do whatever I want to. Because a king does not take orders, a king gives them, right? And then right behind that, you have Major Icon of the Fool card. Not only is the Fool card taking a leap of faith something new, but also this is someone who may be acting foolishly, especially if you're already made it with somebody, you're already in a relationship with somebody. And for those of you who are with someone new, this person could be an Aquarius like yourself or Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You could have, if you just met somebody, it could have been during cancer season because you see how his hand is right in the direction towards that cancer symbol. And remember I was saying like conjoined at the hips, right? And you know they always say dog is man's best friend. This is literally like the two of you all going on, on adventures, a new star with each other is what I'm picking up. For your clarifying deck at the bottom, judgment card, yeah, for some of you guys, there was some type of separation once you find out about a third party situation, either that or also judgment something, there's a judgment call on a situation or you need to make a judgment call on a situation because I feel like you're gonna find something out. With that horn being blown, you know, I'm, I'm just hearing like some type of announcement is being made. And I feel like again, it's gonna be during Leo season. Look at his hair, flames, fire, fiery energy, right? And I see this again, look at that. We seen the six of pentacles in this deck. So yeah, this is, look at that. I can't make this, wow, okay. So you have the Six of Cups. This is somebody you have history with. And again, I said third party. You got one, two, and then right here in the background where you wouldn't even notice if you weren't paying attention. There's somebody sneaking off in the background. And that's what caused the ending. Look at that. You got three people here. We had this earlier, so I know this is Telltale. It ties in. Three people. And then somebody's going to find out about this. Look at this. Wow. Full card again. Yeah. Somebody. Okay. This is also take. Remember I said taking a journey, taking a leap of faith. But this person's taking a new journey. So I feel like especially if you were dealing with somebody who travels for work, while they were on their travels, they entertained and met a third party. And then for those of you who are not dealing with someone who does that, again, that could be an Aries or also Aquarius like yourself, or this could be you who did the do out here entertaining other people. You would know how to supplies, but there was definitely a separation. Look at that. Again, you have, they, somebody feels like they're happy and love. And then come to find out there was a third party because look, you got that person right there. That tower comes down. This is Aries and also Scorpio, okay? You got Aries right here with this card. You have Aries right here. So somebody's definitely dealing with Aries, someone rising Venus, and also water sign because you have Scorpio with the tower and then you have cups right here with the six of cups. But it doesn't have to be those placements. I'm just putting that out there because people like to hear the signs. But you can't have this tower in the middle in between these two cards and that not be involved in the third party. There's, there was some type of third party situation. And if you have not found out about it yet, I feel like some of you guys will be finding out definitely during Leo season. I don't feel like it's gonna be past Leo season. As we part the deck, yeah. Six of Wands, again, Leo, also Aries and Sash, but this is a fiery energy. So that's what I'm saying. I feel like you're gonna hear about this during this fiery Leo energy. Also, I feel like this person likes attention because the Six of Wands, that's victory, being a center of attention, being praised. I feel like this person likes attention, and this is what made them step out. And I feel like you, some of you guys are definitely going to be finding out about it. Some of you guys, this could be a fire and water combination. Somebody with strong fire and water in their chart that you're going to find out about. Yeah, because look at that. You're going to move away from this person, I feel like, for a great deal of you all. And also, I said earlier, this person could travel for work. And while they were out traveling for work, I feel like they may have, you know... Mm. It's interesting because I'm hearing, this is a boat clear as day, but I'm hearing truck driver. Like, this person could be a truck driver for some of you all. I don't know why this is making me feel like, you know how people in those movies, they do like this on the side of the road, they need a ride. It looks like they picked up a passenger. 
right here. While they were out on work, they picked up passengers. That's not to say that this person actually did that, but I'm just, I'm that's the visual that I'm getting. So we're gonna get two cards. One is gonna be a general energy, and the second is gonna be a possible outcome. And then yeah, and then we'll have clarifiers for both lovers. And I always say with this card, this is the card of Gemini, but also this is about needing to make a choice. And also this person, I feel like they didn't choose well because if you see what's right in between them is this apple. That's forbidden fruit. Just like what I was saying about that devil card. Also, never too much when I was hearing that Luther Vandross song, like this person is obsessed about you a little bit. For others, if this, this cheating scenario doesn't apply, they could feel like you are forbidden fruit, like they can't get enough of you, is what I'm picking up. Because I'm picking up two scenarios. One is a cheating scenario, and one is a person who's just like Steve Urkel, stalkerish. Like, you know how he wasn't creepy, but he was just crazy about lore on Family Matters. Like, somebody is just like amazingly obsessed with somebody, just thinks the world of them. Both Major Arcana, the Love is Carl, and then you also have the Chariot. That's cancer. And remember I said earlier with the fool card, how he was pointing at the cancer symbol? Cancer. So something could have happened during cancer season. Somebody could have stepped out of the relationship during cancer season. Also, you could have met this person during cancer season. And I was getting ready to shuffle a look. Like I said, if you have a relationship with somebody already, Ten of Pentacles, that's happy home life, right? And then you have the chariot. So somebody could have stepped out of that home life during cancer season. Some type of cheating scenario. I'm telling you, I'm picking it up. I look just like everybody gets tired of hearing about third party situations I get tired of reading it but I don't I don't have to read what I see definitely somebody stepping out because she's walking away from her home her back is turned towards their home right so somebody definitely stepped out again Aries Leo Sage energy so let's get a general energy and then a clarifier yeah <laughs> for Aquarius Sun Moon Rising Venus individuals I'm picking up strong Aries also very strong Aries energies. Okay. The uh, Knight of Cups in reverse. Picking up, you felt like this person was your knight in shining armor. This person was the type of person that you wanted. You felt like they were everything that you were searching for in a companion. They per they literally came in very charming. And I feel like so you, yeah, in reverse, you found out that this person is not who they are. Look at this, bottom of the deck, three of pentacles in reverse. I'm telling you, somebody's dealing with strong earth sign and visual. And, I'm, and remember, I just—I literally just said that you find out this person isn't who you thought they were. Because look at that. I always tell you guys, anytime I see cards and a person has on a hood or a helmet where you can't see their identity, there's something hidden about this individual. Three of Pentacles is about working together. But I don't think you, the type of working together that you would think about, this person is working together with you, 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 you. You know, they entertain multiple people is what I'm picking up. Let's get a possible outcome for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the visuals. I almost flipped out, but it didn't. Okay, look at that. Okay, yeah. Mm, okay. And remember, look at that. Look what came directly upon the world card. That's travel, that's distance, that's navigation. Again, I'm going to tell you, during Leo season, I feel strongly like you're going to find out that this person on their expeditions, whilst traveling or even if they're not traveling for work when somebody was off on vacation or something like that let's see what's up under yeah this is somebody that you were partnered with both major arcana wow so you have a knight a ace two major arcanas back to back somebody that you were partnered with who i'm, I'm telling you again i'm picking up like this person is a head of household could even be very stoic stern a little arrogant when they were out traveling on vacation or off of work Cause the world is definitely about destinations and traveling and things expeditions things like that i feel like they may have entertained somebody else mm, yeah something 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 went on because think about it both of your cards are in reverse and these are not negative cards you know some cards you would want to reverse this is not negative the ace of wands that's a passionate new start positive but also with the wands Right? They could also be seen as a phallic symbol, like the male genitalia, like somebody who's very overly sexual is what I'm picking up also. And I feel like that's the case with this person. Hold the deck down to get an additional message. Wow. Wait a minute. Yeah, you guys are dealing with some old strong Taurus placements. And remember, I kept saying third party, one, two, three people in this card. Even on this key right here, you got three tiers to it, even the crosses on his ensemble, one, two, three. This person is third party king. This is a king. This is somebody ruling over a scenario. But again, I'm going to say this is somebody who is literally a spouse. And if you don't have to be married to this person, there could have been talks in marriage or you could have been with somebody long enough where you guys would be considered life partners. 
or you were thinking about considering this person to be a life partner. I'm also picking up with this right here that somebody could be giving you some type of information. If you're not dealing with a Taurus, a Taurus friend could be telling you some stuff in regards to a third party situation with this love interest. Mm, okay, as we part the deck, all this major arcana energy. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be kind of shaking someone to their core. You have major arcana, the temperance card. This is a card of Sagittarius. And this is about things becoming balanced and being patient with a process. I feel like if you haven't heard about this situation, be patient because it's coming in because it keeps popping up all this major kind of energy. Oh, something's going to happen. Just seen that judgment card again. Yeah, something's going to happen. Something's going to come through. You're going to find out something. Just seen a nine of pentacles in reverse. That's a single woman, single man card. Look at it now. It's upright. And then you have the eight, the page of swords in reverse. We remember we got this in the last deck. I always say sword up. Yes, sword down. No, the sword is down. So I'm going to tell you, you're not liking what you're hearing about the situation. And now you're single woman, single man, nine of pentacles. And remember I kept saying three energy. We've seen the three of pentacles. Look at that right behind her, three pentacles. Because you're going to turn your back on this individual and leave them behind because you found out about third party situation. If you have not already done that. So, bottom of the deck, yeah. Some of you guys are definitely looking into this situation. And if you haven't looked into the situation, I feel like you will pretty soon. This is your energy. Because you. I feel like a lot of you all feel like something is off with this relationship. It's something that this person is doing that's kind of tipping you off and make you feel like something is wrong. Yeah. Ooh, I said this. Leo season. Some of you guys are feeling like something is going on and this person is hiding something. Strength card, major arcana for Leo. You got a strength card, clear, find a knight of cups. So you're going to find, I feel like a lot of you guys are going to find out. Because look at this upright. This is like some knight in shining armor. Someone who seems emotionally available, just very romantic, like oozing romantic charm. Male or female, doesn't matter. It's coming up in reverse and then you got a strength card, clarifying it. I feel like during Leo season, whatever it is, they were biting their tongue about. Because look at her, she's like holding his mouth. Whatever this person was keeping to themselves and not expressing and not telling you about, you're going to find out during Leo season. I feel like that's going to be the case. And what's interesting also is we are currently in Lion's Gate, a portal, a very powerful portal where there's a lot of transformations, transitions, a lot of truth and depth coming to light. And you heard I wasn't shuffling and look what's at the bottom of the deck. Devil card again, and I've seen that in this main energy deck. You're going to find out because the devil, he's temptation right in between the two of these people. This is somebody you have a strong bond with, a strong connection with. And just as I said at the time of 1744, anytime you see mirroring numbers, double numbers, those are confirmation. That's messages, that confirmation of the message that you were just given, right? So this is somebody that you're connected to. You've had a long-term bond with. They're bonded together. But somehow, some type of temptation is coming between them, Right? This person could also be a karmic part partner for some of you guys. And again, back to that Capricorn energy. Look at that. Okay. A lot flipped out, but look, it flipped right on top of this Temperance card in reverse. And then look at that. Next to it was the Five of Swords in reverse. Again, one, two, three people. This is you, Swords. I feel like you're cutting somebody off. So you have, for your possible outcome, the Ace of Swords. I'm sorry, Ace of Wands in reverse. Temperance in reverse. So a lot of you all wanted a fresh new start with this person, especially if you knew about this person cheating and you would decide to give them a chance. But it's like something keeps telling you that this person can't be trusted. And again, there's a lack of healing and balance with this individual. And with both of these being fiery energies, that's Aries, Leo, Sag, and then this is Sag. Some of you guys could be done with Sagittarius also. A lot of fire energy here because even with the strength card, again, that's Leo. But I feel like more so with this, you could be dealing with a Leo, but I feel like more so with this, especially with being upright. Every single, wow. Every single one of your cards in the spread and your four card spread is in reverse. Only thing that's upright is the Leo season or the card of Leo, the strength. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to finally have the strength to walk away from this individual if you were trying to reconcile. But I feel like a lot of you all have done some research and we kept getting the page of swords. And it's letting me know like, yeah, this ain't it. I'm not going to be able to keep going on with this person. So you have to find the strength to move away from this individual. But then also I feel like with this major arcana, represent Leo and everything else is in reverse. I feel like this whole situation is going to fall upside down during Leo season. Some truths are coming out because look at it. It looks like she's trying to hold his mouth closed, but that mouth is opening. Leo that's lying. So I feel like during Leo season, some, some bombs are going to get dropped. I feel like that's the case for you guys. Okay. 
So for Aquarius, summer rising and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.